Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I want to talk to you about some of the exciting new features that were added to BES4 Dream Edition when you purchase PowerPack 2. PowerPack 2 includes cutting tools. This is an activation card that you can purchase and with it you're able to create digital cutting machine designs from your own embroidery designs. You can also create rhinestone designs, adhesive vinyl designs, and heat transfer vinyl designs from your own artwork, or you can modify existing artwork. You can utilize the artwork transformation tools such as weld, combine, and knockout, and then also use the layering alignment tools to ensure yourself that all your layers of vinyl are lined up properly. You can arrange cutting files on paths, circles, or create circular tags and spiral tags. You can also create artwork from monogram tags. I just want you to think about the possibilities of being able to do all of this from one software package. But before we begin to look at a few of the features that are in the software, I'd like to take a moment to thank my sponsor, More Sewing, from Southern California. More Sewing has multiple locations in Southern California, and like most dealers, during the time of the COVID-19 virus, they have been working alone in their warehouse. This is where they are setting up sales via Facebook so that they can give the customers the very best deals. So I want to make sure that you take the opportunity to check their Facebook page during the time of the COVID-19 virus until everyone is able to go back to work. Now let's look at the highlights within the Power Pack cutting tools. The first feature that I want to show you is a design that I created from a, a shape within the software. So we'll go to File, New. We'll go to Home and choose Add Design. From the application shapes, I'll locate the leaf. You could take any, any shape to create what you want, but I want to show you something in particular. So we'll locate that leaf and we'll double click. Now we'll take the leaf and place it in the center of the screen. I want to select all items and let's rotate it. Now that it's rotated and selected, what I want to do is go to the Tools tab and convert to artwork. You'll notice now I have vector art. I will go to the Fill in the properties box and choose apply. Now you'll notice that the stem will change it to a different color as a separate piece of artwork. I want to join these two pieces together so I'll overlap the two. I'll select all items. I'll go to home, to arrange, transform, and weld. Now I have a singular leaf. From this singular leaf, I can take this design if I want to create vinyl and send it to my scan and cut. All I have to do is choose scan and cut and this design can be sent as a design that scan and cut can use. You will notice that you have the ability to export an FCM file so you could type a name for that file here. But you can also go under the BES Paste Setter button and go to Export, and you can export the image, export an FCM, or if you don't have a scan and cut, you can S export the SVG file. You'll also notice that you can send directly to the scan and cut from the menu. Let's select the file again, and let's try something else. Let's go to Convert to rhinestones, we'll choose to have 10 millimeter. And now we have rhinestones on the outside of this. Now notice that there are some that are stacked on top of one another. So what I can do is I can go in and modify the spacing. So let me change this to three and choose apply. And if I don't see a significant difference, I can go in and change it a little bit more.
And if I wish to delete or remove a singular rhinestone, I can do that. So I can go to the rhinestone edit tool. I can select the rhinestone that I want to remove and press delete. I can also move these rhinestones if I need to and move them into position. Now, if I want to take this and convert it to a rhinestone fill, all I have to do is go to the Tools menu. I'll go to Convert and choose Fill Rhinestone. I'll use 10 millimeter. And if I don't like the appearance of that, I can go in and change this fill type to a cascade. Let's choose that and apply. And I like the appearance of this more. Again, I can go in and select individual rhinestones by choosing Rhinestone Edit. I'll select the rhinestone I want to remove and I'll delete it. I can move a, another rhinestone into place to, to make this more appealing. So I'll move this rhinestone and I'm ready to cut my template. So all I have to do is send this to my Scan and Cut and have the media for rhinestone templates. All right, we'll go ahead and look at the next option. So the next feature I want to show you is a knockout tool. So I'll choose File New. I'll go to Text on the Home menu, choose Normal Text. I, I want to choose a stencil type font. I want to make sure the style is set up as artwork. And I'll go ahead and type Moore's, M-O-O-R-E, apostrophe S, enter, sewing in all caps. I do want to make a few modifications on the spacing. On the spacing, I want to enter minus one. And on the line spacing, we'll leave it at 25, but we, we will most likely need to change it. I'll go ahead and choose apply. We'll go ahead and move this back to the center of the screen so we can see it. Now we do need to modify the line spacing because with Knockout, you want to have your text close together. Let's make this 2 and press Apply. That's much better. Now that it's close together, or I could change it to 3, we'll try that so that the letters are actually not quite touching. We'll go ahead and we'll add some additional artwork to this. I'm going to move down on the screen a bit and I'll go to add design. I'll locate in the applique shapes, the sewing machine. Double click. And now what I want to do is to select that and make it smaller. Let's change the color of it to gold. And you may not notice it here right now, but we're going to go and while it is selected, we do want to change this so it's artwork. So to convert it to artwork, we need to go to Tools. We'll go to Convert and convert it to artwork. So you now notice it has the outline. And let me move this so you can actually see it. So you'll notice down here the small design, we'll move it up closer. We'll select both of these items so you can see them. I do want to resize this so that it is smaller so that it fits within the text. I want to go to the fill and make sure that it's a solid fill and apply. Now I'll take this and place it over the, the text. I feel like it needs to be a little bit smaller or the text needs to be larger. We'll make the text slightly larger and we'll move this on the screen. Now we'll take the sewing machine, place it over the text, we'll resize it just a little bit more. And what you want to try to do when you're, you're creating something like this is you want certain parts of this design to fall within specific letters. So what I'm going to do is stretch this design a little bit from side to side to make those letters thicker, because remember, we're cutting vinyl. And this way, I'll be able to get more of the features of the sewing machine in that text. 
Now that all of that is inside of the text, I'll select it. I'll zoom to the center so you can see it. And then I'll go to Arrange, Transform, and choose Knockout. Now you should be able to see the shape of that sewing machine that is cut within the letters. This would be very cute as vinyl, as a vinyl cutout, but it would also be cute as heat transfer vinyl. I hope that this video has inspired you to try some of the power packs. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and consider joining my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. Stay tuned for the next video in this series for Power Pack 3.